He was saying you felt guilt and innocence. Innocence, but uh, the guilt well with, with, with the role of mankind uh, on, on the environment. That you, that you dealt with, with the guilt. What was it? Because your last album is, is, is really deals with that su subject. Um, well, it's, a, it's like about um, guilt as a participant in a kind of a virulent consumer culture and sort of trying to extricate myself from that and understand the system that I'm a part of better. Um, guilt in the, that I'm, I'm taking up more than I'm giving, you know that I'm using more than I'm giving, that I'm, that I'm going through a lot of oil and consuming a lot of energy and, and creating a lot of waste. And, and, you know, and of course all of those things can be reduced and you can limit your, your footprint and that's a very practical and good thing to do. And, but I've also wrestled with it sort of just in, in trying to in trying to get a handle on, on the question of where am I and what's my responsibility to this place, which is a question that a lot of artists ask themselves. You know, who am I, where am I? <laughs> you know, basic existential questions. You know, I've had to move through, I've had to, I've spent a lot of time kind of wrestling with that idea of that, you know, how can I be innocent when I'm, when I'm participating in such a destructive event? You know, when I'm participating as a as a privileged person, as someone of particular privilege, as a, of someone of economic privilege, globally speaking, how where how, where is my childlike innocence when I'm when I'm behaving in this way? You know, uh, what will people in hundred years think of me? You know, for taking this airplane. What will people in hundred years think of me for for producing these plastic products? Will they think of me as innocent, or will they think of me as in denial? You know, so, and and then at the same time, needing to to um, needing to have some sanctuary within myself, need, needing to be able to feel all right about myself. You know, you need a, some positive wellspring inside yourself in order to take positive actions. You know, you need to to have some. You need to. We need to forgive ourselves for the things that that haven't been, you know, for the mistakes that we make, even as we're making them. So I'm just wrestling on an individual level with questions that probably everyone on some level or other is wrestling with as participants in the consumer culture today and as participants in society today, you know, when we're faced with this, this evolving flood of information that, that we're having this really detrimental effect on our climate and our environment and that in 70 to 90 years the temperature is going to three, be three and a half degrees hotter Celsius and that will mean the end of the forest systems and that will mean the rising of the ocean by six or seven feet and that's a consensus among scientists at this point. That's not a fantastical projection, that's what all the scientists are saying, almost all of them. And um, and that's what the city, some of the cities are even preparing for, you know. But it seems very primary to my experience as an artist. It seems like the the material that I'm being asked to deal with. But how do you deal with with it now nowadays? And because you take the plane, because you are part of the envi uh, part of the system. Um, how you've asked yourself some questions? How would people? Uh, well, remember me within 100 years by taking the plane. Have you, can you answer these questions for yourself now? Or are you still struggling? And, and <clears throat> yeah, the work is a, is, a, is a... This work and this album and this book in particular is a record of my process in this, in this area. It's a record of me asking these questions. And it's a record of where I am in my evolution. And I put it forward in hopes that it's useful to other people in their process, you know, that, or at least people can recognize themselves within it, or on some level. Maybe they're not going through this. Maybe people have a more, much more positive spin on it, you know, and I know some artists that do have a much more positive spin on it. And it's not that I feel that, that without hope, although there is, there are like, there is a kind of a pretty, there is an undertow occasionally of hopelessness on this record, which has been difficult to put forward 
this has been a challenge for me to put forward because I've never really put that forward before. But at the same time, I think it's, it was important again that I make a record of it. It's the one song that you say, well, that, that's a song that, that's a new song with, with the hopelessness that, that symbolizes the hopelessness that, you, that you're dealing with now. You were saying on this album the first time, first album that you, well, that you put forward the, this, these hopelessness? No, I, I, th I think that there's a thread of it more in the book than on the record. Okay. You know, and um, but it's about sitting with feelings and moving through feelings. You know, it was the same when I did that song, Another World. You know, it's it's the same body of work in a way. You know, it's it's about sitting with feelings and moving through them. You know, every feeling passes, and um, it's a feeling, not a fact. You know, we're not without hope, and that's that's obvious. Or at least I hope it's obvious. <laughs>